All right. Welcome, everyone. I'm Morali, and this is part... I don't even remember. I don't know, because <laughs> as of right now, the last batch of episodes that I've recorded, I haven't uploaded yet. My plan is to finish recording this episode and then upload all of the latest of the episodes that I have recorded, but I don't know how many that is. I think it's like five or six of them or something. Uh, so it's going to be like a whole big batch of them, so I, I don't know. But yeah, welcome anyways. So we're here in Magna Forest. Last episode, we finished up in Satoru Marsh and went inside of the Bionis into the third lung and got blasted up to the very top of the back of the Bionis. And... We got introduced to some really mysterious characters, one of which is Melia, which we will learn more about. But like I said, keep in mind all these other Master Egil, Lady Venea, La Lady Maineth. I even have I didn't even talk about Lady Maineth. There's also a character named called I'm sorry. Whoop. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> what I, I had like a sip of something to drink right before I started, so now I'm burpy, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, so Lady Maineth. Uh, was also a character that was uh, mentioned, like, uh, and Lady Venea was saying, I have fulfilled my duty, Lady Manus, or something like that, right? So it's like, okay, keep all of that in mind. Uh, we have some nebulas here, we gotta be careful of those guys. I think those spikes, I don't know what those spikes mean, I think they the spikes mean that they have, like, I'm talking about the spikes around the name that pop up when we, when we target him. I think that's like a, um, thorn ability almost where if we attack it we get damaged in the process so it's just like it, you could die really easily to those if you attack like a ton uh, that's a Kara's neb nebula uh, but yeah so we I'm gonna change it today again because I'd like to have these uh, interactions during the day I mean not that I don't like nighttime but I actually prefer nighttime in, in real life but these areas just look you know I, I feel like having a journey like like this is probably much better but yeah so let's let's continue we're we're working our way through the magna forest oh what is this what's going on here over there hey are you okay you Shulk, what's wrong? Another vision? Kind of. I'm not sure. But first, she needs help. You're right. Let's look for somewhere safe. There. I see a clearing under a giant tree. We can easily watch for anything approaching. Okay. I'll carry her. She hasn't sustained any serious injuries, but her condition is far from stable. Do you know what's wrong with her? Her symptoms suggest ether deficiency. It's well known that Homs are strongly affected by ether levels in the environment. But I've never seen symptoms like this before. Hmm. A sudden drop in ether content in the surrounding atmosphere causes a reaction. Symptoms range from fatigue to nausea. But in this girl's case... What can we do? We're gonna need watertight ether crystals. I'll load the crystals into a cartridge to shoot from my rifle. Eh? You, you're gonna shoot her? No, silly. I'll fire them into the air and the dispersed ether will heal her. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. But the problem is the crystals. We can't just use any old crystal. They must be as pure as possible. This area must have a water source nearby. We should search there first. I spotted the waterfall a little way back. What do you think, Charlotte? Would a waterfall produce pure crystals? I can't think of a better place. Then it's decided. I'll search for the crystals. Hey, you're not going on your own. I'll be okay. I need you to look after the group. We're short on water, too. So I'll fill up our flasks. Hey, good idea. Take care, man. All right, so we're off on our own. Okay, so it's just Shulk by himself. 
we need to find so it's kind of cool because we 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 knew so this is the area where we are you must find oh i'm not allowed to go that way but yeah they're they're over there by that by that huge tree somewhere over there is where they're hanging out at okay so and that's where we found melia and you guys can kind of see so what happened in this area is all of the ether has left the area so ether again is somewhat like a life force in a way uh, and it's it sucked all the life in the area. So like there's no green grass like everything kind of died The trees have all died. Everything is like turned gray Everything just like the life just got sucked out of the area. So what happened there with the ether? Well, the crystals that we saw earlier Will be up here. Oh, I thought wait what where do they have us go? Somewhere down there why? There's a waterfall right here. You see that? There's a waterfall right here. Oh, that's not water crystals. Okay, so, uh, but what's interesting, and I was, that's what I was gonna start off with, is we kind of get a little bit of a, the, the process of how, not just ether, how ether works, but also how Sharla uses ether to heal someone. So she doesn't like, make bullets out of them and shoots them into your like, oh God, I meant to grab that and then I fell. Uh, so she doesn't like shoot people with the with the ugh, god. It's so annoying being by yourself as Shulk So she doesn't like shoot them with ether bullets she shoots it into the air So hums are affected by the ether in the air so by shooting water ether into the air That's how she heals us because we we get affected by that, but you know hums get affected by that But yeah, so we find that girl her name is Melia on the ground there okay I'm trying to avoid all the enemies because if I fight anyone I'm gonna die I don't know where they're having us bring but, oh god just keep running what is it what is following us oh my god no I've I got oh my god are you kidding me no nope. don't want any as soon as he hits me I'm gonna run Ow! and he used the technique to almost kill me no it's not going well run yeah, nothing's gonna stop me. Except for another savage attack that's gonna no, kill- Oh, I'm dead. I'm bleeding. I'm oh my god, I almost died. This is so- I totally forgot about this part. Can I- Okay, I'm gonna teleport to where I need to go. Can I do that? I'm gonna go across- Oh, I have to go- Oh, that's right. So, remember Lakeside, the beach? That's where the water crystals were? Yeah, that's what we have to find. So let's just teleport to the next side and collect these freaking crystals. So yeah, a ways back I spotted a waterfall. I is he talking about this waterfall? Yeah, I think everyone spotted that waterfall. I I seriously thought we had to get some other stuff, but anyway, so here we are. And they want us to actually not collect this. But there's actually an item that's gonna be um water crystals. But while I'm here, I'm gonna get that. And then yes, yeah, so we get a pure water ether crystal. Alright. Cool. Huh? Uh huh? Who are you? Hello there. Uh, uh. Hello. How unusual. It is quite rare to see a Homs in this region. I. I suppose you're wondering why I am here in that case. Then permit me to introduce myself. My name is Alvis. Alvis? Um, my name's... It's Shulk. Isn't it? Uh, how did you know that? Wielder of the Monado, defender of Colony 9, the hero that has every mech on running. You're famous amongst all Homs. I know you from somewhere. They're here. Huh? The Monado emits a particular ether wavelength in its ground state. It must have drawn them. Huh? myself. 
From the left. Then I'll go. Is it Telethia? Telethia? They can read your mind. Whether you have a vision or not, if they know your next move, it's all in vain. You... you know about my visions? How could you possibly...? There is only one way. Stop it in its tracks, then dull its perception. No, Albert, stop! You don't know how to... Huh? A new symbol? Suggest you stop staring. The sword is yours to wield. What was that light? The Monado does not control itself. You control it. I control it. By the light of the Monado. I will stop them. And as always, friends, we gotta stop for a minute. So a lot of stuff, right? Uh, Elvis, we, we've seen... We get introduced to Elvis, but we've seen him. And there's something really strange about Elvis. One, I will make a note of... Keen eyes. I always talk about keen eyes. People that like to look at details that that find, uh, you know, that, that can kind of pick out things right as they look at certain stuff. Like, those of you that have keen eyes, I will tell you to, like, pay attention to that whole cutscene. And I'm, I'm not going to say more because I don't want to give it away. But th there's something in particular, and I'll talk about this as well once we get to that point. But we get introduced to Elvis, who... Weirdly enough, he was the one that sent the Telethia to save us from Metal Phase. Remember that? Like, Shulk doesn't know that. We, as the player, we got to see him interact with it. And he was like, thank you. Like, he even thanked the Telethia or something. And was like, you did a good job. Uh, my pet or something like that, right? And was, he kind of pet it. Uh, and now he's fighting the Telethia. Like, okay, what's going on? Why, why is he destroying the Telethia? Like, that's so weird, right? Um, and we, we're we getting more introduced to Telethia. They can read your mind. Like, we had more information on Telethia. They can read your mind. So even though we can see, we have visions of the future, they can read our mind. So he's thinking, okay, they're attacking from the left, so I'll just, you know, dodge to the, to the right. And they can see that, right? They can see that in his mind, and they're like, oh, okay, well, I'll just attack from the left. So visions aren't really helping. And then Alvis is able to wield the Monado. We do know that everyone is able to wield the Monado, but it takes control of a person. But then Alvis is the one that activates like a new power in that, like in the Monado, like a new symbol appears. So it's very strange, very mysterious, but we have a new power. We have a new power. We have learned Purge. And Alvis is actually in our team. He's uh, lower level. Fighting a Telethia using Purge. Using Purge removes a monster's aura and temporarily prevents them from activating another aura. A Telethia's aura, Soul Read, is particularly strong. Use Purge to eliminate it before attacking. Remember to replenish the talent gauge by auto-attacking so you can activate the Monado. Alright, so... And he's a badass, like, Alvis is a freaking badass. Alright, so Purge. 
We'll purge him. Okay, so at the top there, you will see that the the aura is that like round symbol, and it's been disabled. I wonder. Soul read. So he's using soul read. Oh, and then we miss. Okay, interesting. So we can't hit it if he activates its aura. Yeah, so Alva, he says, Alvis, who are you? Because he's a mysterious, mysterious character, right? That's, that's, I mean... Alright, we have a vision. To let the tail. Alright, only does like 200 damage. Should be okay, but we miss because the aura is activated. Yeah, this is not going well. Purge. Wow, he resisted the purge. What the? What, what am I supposed to do here? He said, Shulk, thank you. I will tell you guys, Alvis is... I love Alvis. He's so cool. I don't know why. I, I'm a huge fan of Alvis. He's like this stoic... Oh my god, I'm gonna die. This is tough. Like, this is pretty freaking tough. Buster! Wow, we missed. Wait, how? This... This freaking... Okay. I'm gonna die right now. I'm gonna die right now. Oh my god. Maybe I should. Ow, ow. I can't. I can't. Heal me, say. Heal me, say. I'm about to die. Encourage. <laughs> oh my god, I'm holding on to like. Ether scatter. Oh, gee. oh my god, a thousand? I am never gonna survive that. Worn out, Al Alvis. What does he have? He has Lost Ray and Cross Ray. Dude, I don't know. You, I'm dead. I didn't make it. <laughs> I didn't make it. <laughs> Oh, so bad. I think what I'm going to do, guys, I think if I can, I will try to play as Alvis. That way the computer can do its thing. Uh, I'm not allowed to leave either, so can't defeat a boss. Jesus. Was that an achievement? Almost looked like. Uh, can I cheat? Can I? Hold on a minute. Can I play as Alvis? I... Oh, I can't. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. Uh, let's see, purge. Uh, I meant to level that up. Can I level that up? Wait, whoops, I'm not in the right mic. Why can't I? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, it does damage too. Great, I've increased the time by 0.5 seconds. Awesome. Alright, I. I'm gonna. I don't know, guys. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try to use Shadow Eye a lot more to maybe get them to attack. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna wait until they actually use their aura. Okay, he's using his aura. Alright, let's use Soul Read. Or, uh, use Soul Read, let's use Purge. I don't even care, just use it. This isn't going well, most peculiar. Alvis, it's okay. Alright, let's do that. Let's do purge. Let's do shadow eye. Oh, this guy. I... I'm just gonna attack. I don't. Feel my power. Feel my power. 
Yo. Oh my god, this is tough, guys. Like, that's the thing with Shulk. He, he only has one heal ability. I, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I meant to encourage him. I didn't mean to. Okay, I can defeat... Who's doing the... Okay, that guy's using Ether Scatter. Alright, I gotta kill this guy. And I'm gonna heal myself. Alright. Get, go attack Alvis. No, don't attack me. Alright. Oh, I missed. I'm gonna do a change like, oh my god, Alvis, Jesus, feel my power, feel my power. I'm like, oh, Alvis, Alvis, are you okay? Physical damage, large amount of physical damage. Last ray. Well, you see now, Shulk? Hmm. Thank you. Hey, wait a second. More importantly, where on Bionis did you learn to use the Monado? <laughs> they were not the primary Telethia. Merely at spawn. The primary Telethia dwells elsewhere in Magna Forest. Is it wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest. Wounded by a girl. A girl? The Monado is a divine sword capable of disturbing the very fabric of existence. Of both the material and the immaterial. Alvis, how do you know so much about the Monado? Who are you? Huh? That's Ryan. I'm over here! Shulk, we looked all over for you. Thought you'd been eaten by the forest. Sorry, Ryan. I got attacked by Telethia. If it hadn't been for Alvis, I wouldn't have survived. Alvis? Who's that? I'll introduce you. He's the one that... Alvis? But he was... Uh, there's no one here. I'm telling you, he was right here. He even taught me how to unlock a new power from the Monado. Just you and me, Shulk. Ain't no one else around. You probably passed out from dehydration and dreamt this guy up. Come on. Wait till the others hear this. <laughs> he was here, Ryan. I didn't dream it. I'm not lying. Okay, okay. I believe you. And while you were having fun with your imaginary friend, did you find any ether crystals? Yes. Good quality ones, too. Perfect. Come on. We should hurry them back to Sharla. Hang around here long enough and we'll get whacked by an imaginary beast. <laughs> oh my god, Ryan. I'm not lying. I hate people like that. Alvis. Like, that's supposed to be your best friend. You're supposed you? to believe him. But yeah, who is Alvis, right? Mysterious character? Alright, and he's over on one of the islands. An enemy that renders your visions useless. This forest holds many surprises. 
Not least creatures we've never seen before. And now we know there is another who can use the Monado. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to meet him. So you weren't just having a sneaky nap then? No. I'm just saying. You and Dunban are the only ones I know that can wield the Monado. How would this guy know how? Okay, locked and loaded. Everyone, stand back. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, she's coming round. All thanks to our medic. Are you okay? Where am I? Everything's fine. You're gonna be... <gasps> Get your hands off me! Ah! Hey, watch it! F forgive me. I... I did not mean to... Uh, sorry if we surprised you. Are you the ones who helped me? Well, something like that. Excuse me. My name is Melia. Forgive my indiscretion. I have not had the pleasure of coming into contact with the male Homs. Coming into contact? Hey, Shulk. You're creeping this lady out. Mm. Shut up, Ryan. This large one is far worse. Me! <laughs> <laughs> Melia, is it? How did you get here then? What, is there no one with you? I must apologize, but my situation does not concern you. And I shall not be divulging anything to common passers by. Duly noted, your ladyship. But if I were to be so bold, I'm guessing that you didn't come here alone. And you weren't just taking an afternoon nap. <laughs> and what, may I ask, are you doing here? It is rare to see Homs venture this deep into Machna Forest. We're traveling to the head of the Bionis. We've got a long journey ahead of us. The head of the Bionis? We were just figuring out how to get there when we found you. I see. Then permit me to return the favor by aiding you in your quest. Really? There is only one path to the head of the Bionis. It is the path that leads to Erith Sea. So, this Erith Sea is at the head of the Bionis? If you would be kind enough to escort me out of the forest, I will show you the way. You... you do that? Thank you, Melia. I'm Shulk. Pleased to meet you. Shulk? Ah, yes. Likewise. <sighs> she's a bit high and mighty. But she's a Homs too, right? Why is she here alone? Ain't got a clue. Ask her yourself. I'm not good with her posh accent. All right, that's Melia. I guess we get more, or what's going on? We shall travel to the Nopon village. Nopon village? That's where we've been heading. We reckon it's our best chance of making it to the top. Since inhabiting the region, the Nopon have been a great help. You can travel to Erith Sea from their village. It's settled. We'll make our way to the Nopon village. Very well. The Nopon inhabit a giant tree. If we follow this trail, we will be safe. All right. Beware of monsters with spike abilities. From Magna Forest onwards, you will encounter monsters with spike abilities. So we talked about this before. These monsters can automatically deal damage and inflict debuffs on a, on, on a party member in certain circumstances. Uh, spike damage cannot be lessened by inc uh, increasing physical defense or ether defense. Uh, three types of spike abilities. Uh, counter spike. The monster deals damage or inflicts de debuff when attacked. Down spike. The monster deals damage or inflicts debuff when attacked if it is suffering topple. Close spike. The monster deals damage or inflicts debuff if a party member gets too close. So pretty much the counter is, like I said, 
earlier when you attack them you get damaged back the other one is if you topple them they will then have exactly that same ability as counter spike but that's only while they're toppled i believe is how that works uh and then the close spike is if uh, close spike is if we get too close they will start doing damage to us uh, we have, so we learned Purge. So those are uh, auras. They're kind of like auras, those, uh, spi those yeah, spike abilities and stuff. Um, so we can neutralize that with the Purge ability. Uh, also bear in mind that counter spike abilities can be neutralized by inflicting topple. Oh, yeah. All right, leveled up. And you learn an art. Let's look at that. So let's look at Ryan. Oh, he left. Uh, dive so bad. Uh, paralyzing kick. Use after bone upper to reduce agility. Interesting. Interesting. I don't think I'm going to equip that right now. But yes, we have a new character. This is Melia. Now, Melia is very interesting. We're going to find out a lot of stuff about her. But she utilizes Ether in an interesting way. Oh my god. I will level up everything. Uh, she is mechanically, I, I wanna say mechanically in the party, she is my favorite character. I, I love her, uh, I love the way she functions. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna level everything up with her. She's gonna learn a lot of stuff as we go along here, I wanna say. What level is she? Do we know? I mean, I'm sure we do. Oh, so that's her equipment. I did find that five-star rod, so I'm going to equip that. She has a protect staff, so now she's going to get a new weapon here. Did I? It still doesn't tell me. Oh, level 31. So she's the same as everyone else, but Dunban. I guess Dunban is the one that's lacking. Uh, I can replace her. I cannot replace her headpiece. So bear that in mind. I can't do that right now, but I don't think we have anything that we really want to give her right now that's going to be better anyways. Uh, but I do want to give her some gems, maybe? Oh god, we have not a lot. Um, agility up, maybe? Uh, she uses ether, so for her, she, she you know, you want to use, I don't know, I'm going to do bleed, I'm just going to do random stuff. I'm probably going to have to, after this episode or something, I might have to sleep resist. Yeah, please. Because... Uh... They keep on putting me to sleep. I, I'm just giving her random stuff right now. Um, so, no, party. But after this episode, I'm probably going to do make some gems, do some side, finish up some more side quests and stuff like that to level up. Uh, but yeah, for now, uh, I will use Melia. Oops. Uh, Sharla, we kind of need her. Okay, I'm going to use Melia. Because, like I said, I really, really like her. She's really cool. Um, we'll, we'll learn more about her. So we have a shield bug, and we found a lemonade sky. Try to like whisper as she named this deep blue stone of nostalgia. Lemonade sky, but it's deep blue. Deep blue. Okay, so we get Melia here. So uh, we have to... Obviously, now... It, look at this. Uh, skill links. It widens, right? Everything keeps, like growing and it's it's crazy right uh, this this becomes insane later with all this stuff but we don't have enough affinity coins right now to do really anything i think we can get some from uh what does she have wait a minute i want to look at melia's uh line increases hp received from healing arts that's really nice increase hp absorbed by water type arts water arts okay Increases chance of finding rare crystals from deposits. Okay. So, again, she she's kind of... Let me clean my glasses. I can't see. There's, like, this one speck of dirt right on my glasses that's, like, right in the way. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, she utilizes, utilizes ether. So, it says, extends chill duration when dealt to an enemy. So, we have chill abilities. Okay. So, like I said, she is pretty much the mage in the, in the group okay she's utilizing ether more in a magical sense where where uh when you look at charla it's more in a technical sense right charla uses ether to make bullets and shoot stuff into the air as we just saw in that in that cutscene. where melia is a little bit more like she utilized the ether 
um, she like channels it or something. Uh, and then greatly increases ether. So this is like the magical route with the healing. Increases ether. Or this does it as well. This bottom one does it by 50. This one does it by 25. Ex extends poison duration. Increases strength, strength during night. Interesting. Prevents reduction of accuracy when tension falls. Grants immunity to ether down debuff. Okay. And this is honesty. Increases agility. Boosts wind damage. Grants ether up both at the start of battle. That's for 30 seconds, 25% up on that. Electric art. So this is more of the damage -y type. So we're going to keep Serenity going for now. And we're going to have to... Oh my god, look at them. They're just like waiting for us. Holy crap. What level are they? Oh, they're, they're only 27. We can, we can defeat them. Oops. All right, so what she does is she summons... So she summons... So she has a flame thing above her. And then we can do the summon bolt, which summons... So she can have up to three of them above her. What these do, and you will kind of see as I, as I walk away from Shulk, look on the left ab above his icon, it increases certain stats while I have these. So there is some passive effects, and then when I activate them, they have some active effects. Uh, so I can have up to three, so I'm going to do some damage. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, nice. We finished the quest here. 15,000. All right. Shadow Stitch. All right, I'm going to fire all, all three. So fire increases... Oh, God, we're all put to sleep. So fire increases my my uh, strength, and then I I want to say my my bolt, my lightning one, my electric one, uh, increases my ether. Ooh, we got a what? Oh, we're attacking another. One? Okay. Can attack. Okay, Melia, just shoot your fire. Bam. Oh, I guess Charlotte wasn't in that. I didn't realize she wasn't in there. So one thing that you will find is that if she doesn't have anything, uh, like she doesn't do a lot of physical damage. You want to stand back with her. She's pretty, n you know, not useless, but she's not as effective right now because she doesn't have a lot of elements that she could summon. There's going to be a lot more elements that we will be able to summon. And with the skill tree, we looked at the skill tree, so you kind of get a little bit of a preview of stuff that we will be able to do. And I have my, uh, my, so I can use, oh, well, I would have been able to use, but you guys will have seen that this burst end. Ooh, we have a love biter, which is something we can't use in cool sandals. Let's see, Shulk can probably maybe put those on. Cool sandals, okay. It has a blaze defense. Okay. Uh, no Paul boots. Hmm. Okay, so let's have a look at her arts for a minute. So it it's an electricity electricity increases ether. Discharge inflicts large damage. So this is the one that uh, when you summon it, uh, circle around the user. The ether is up by twenty percent. So it's a really nice combo when you use ether. Uh, in your abilities, right? Like Sharla, for example, her healing all of a sudden does like way more, and it's it's really nice. Uh, so there is this interesting balance with Melia between having these elements like summoned and then using them, d discharging them, because you can only discharge the last element that you have summoned. So if I, for example, I summon three bolts, or I summon two bolts and a, a flare, if I hit discharge, it's going to do the flare, and then if I hit discharge again, it'll be the first bolt, and then if I do that again, it'll be the second bolt. But that means that the very first bolt that I 
that I summoned will be there the longest. So that's ether up is going to be the whole time. If I have two bolts, it's going to be 40% ether up, which means that my flare, if I discharge my flare, it's going to do a huge amount of damage because my ether has been increased by two of them, right? So that's really interesting. Then we have this one that does, uh, that increases strength, like I said, by 20%. And when you discharge it, it does ether damage, and then it does blaze damage, which is almost like it's it's a burning ability. So it'll be burning over time. And I don't know if you guys, you can again, you can kind of go back, but there was a moment where I used that flare in the in this last battle, and you could see above the enemy bar the name uh, at the top. You could see like there was a fire icon. That means that it's on it's on fire, and it's on fire for 20 seconds. So that's it's it's a long time. So that's pretty nice. So you could, again, there, there's blaze up gems, for example. So you could really make her like a fire mage if you really wanted to. Like you could increase this, uh, the level of summon flare and get her to just increase her ether and then increase her blaze damage. And she could just like do this fire damage, right? Then we have burst end, which as you guys see, the, the middle one, this is the elemental discharge, available anytime, so you can discharge your element. Uh, effects, when talent gauge reaches max, element burst aura auto-activates. I don't know what that means. Burst aura auto-activates, okay. Discharge damage up two times. Oh, that's what that elemental burst aura. So element burst aura. So once I'm max, once the middle button for me is maxed up, everything does twice the damage. So if I use my elements at that point, but it gives me access to burst end, which is a latent power reducing the defense of enemies in range. Uh, it reduces the physical defense by 10% and ether defense by 25%. So, and that's for 13 seconds. So I can use that once I have this. So there's a lot of intricate stuff with her. She has Shadow Stitch, which uh, binds an enemy, which is the like immobilized, the black chains that you guys will have seen around me. So that's something that I can do. Has all a very long cooldown, it's two minutes. So it's not something that I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably replace that. And we can put someone to sleep uh, for 23 seconds. Uh, that's something that maybe I will you know, keep in, but yeah, so, um, but yeah, that's pretty much Melia. Obviously she's very, uh, weak to defensive stuff or, uh, her defense is pretty weak is what I meant to say. <laughs> uh, nope on arch is where we are. Um, but yeah, so this is Melia and we have to go, we'll, uh, we have to go to this huge tree. So the huge tree that we saw earlier on, that's the Nopon village. That's why there's lights on there and stuff. The Nopon live up there. Oh God, I just wanted to get that item. Ow. All right. So she's, uh, and she's high and mighty, right? She like acts like she's so like, oh yeah, uh huh. Sure. She's like, like, uh, Ryan said, she's so posh. She, she has a posh accent and stuff. It's like, uh. Like, she's, like, just, you know, one of those characters where you're, like, okay. Uh, it's weird that that Dunban knows the word, like, ladyship. Do they have something like ladyships? You know, wow, look at that. Look at that huge ether crystal. It's really cool. And then we have the Magna X. Uh, have we seen creatures like that? I don't think we have yet. Uh, but, yeah, we have some, we have some enemies that we could potentially fight right now. I'm gonna increase ether, summon bolt and summon flare. Summon flare, so we'll increase their stuff right now. X watering hole, okay. Uh, so, flare. All right, let's use first end. Bam. Yeah, she can become really, really, really strong if you know what to do with her. I knew you could do it. This is why we count on you, Melia. We are victorious. Nice. Let's stay alert. Alright, and then we, we should be defeating these as well, so let's do a little bit of fighting with her some more. It's, uh, once we level up these uh, summons, the, the elements and stuff, 
obviously their recharge is going to be lowered so we're going to be summoning them a lot more and we're going to get other elements like i said so i'm going to replace some of these uh probably spear break which knocks an knocks an enemy back inflicting slow all right so now i have three electric ethers so she's going to heal for so much but i'm going to just bam bam let's do some Set him on fire for a little bit. So the fire damage is going to be in the yellow numbers or orange numbers or whatever. Alright. Prepare yourselves. Flare and pulls and burst end. Go! So I'm still in that aura that does a lot of damage. Boom, look at that. I did a ton of damage there. Alright. Starting to look like a team. Alright, cool. Two and there's... Uh, I don't really want to go there, though. I'm scared. But this is where the X come to... Uh, drink there's the watering hole here kelp mushroom but yeah it's also do you see the lighting it's so cool because it's like it's the light from that ether is like lighting it up like there's a sun or anything but it's the middle of the night uh, is there like an easy oh okay there's an easier one because i don't want to deal with the other guy flying around Everyone stay on your guard. I don't want anyone all right summon some elements here First end. Chain attack. Let's do a chain attack here. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna fire that. Boom. First end. Great, now we got the other guy still uh, still involved. I don't know if you guys see that, but the bird did get involved. I'm not sure exactly how, but we did a ton of damage. Fantastic, good job. No, what? This guy. Alright, let's do that. Boom. Let's use that again. Boom. Nice. Yeah, so she's pretty, I mean, it's like we can sit here and it's like... I don't think this inflicts any damage. Bam. I think she also gets a really cool ability later that lets her, like, resummon the last element that she summoned or something. So if you do, like, an, a, a bolt, you summon bolt, and then you can use that ability, and you summon a, another bolt immediately after that. So you can start any battle with, like, two of the same elements as well. So if you're looking to do, like, a lot of ether, if your whole group is, like, dependent on ether, you can do that. So if we go up here... What? Oh, my God. This is a fire guy, so he can inflict blaze on us. Star things, flames of absolution. All right, burst end. All right, let's see. Monado purge. Did he have an aura on him? I didn't even see that. I didn't see that there was an aura on him. That's the thing with having. See, there's another. Another. We can actually get that one right there, but we get some ether deposits here. Some big ones. I mean, these are the largest ones that we've seen so far. Can we avoid this guy? We can. Haha. <laughs> Run around. Alright. Who and what's this ahead of us? 
twisted tree gate. See how it's like a twisted tree? But yeah, these trees are huge, right? When you when you look around, like look at that massive tree right there. That's huge. And that's all on the back of some like giant. I mean, that's such a cool concept, isn't it? All right, so here we are. Ooh, what do we have over there? A Terra or Orluga. Okay, there's a bunch of them. These are like weird, like ogre looking things. But they actually have this really cool thing here. You can go up here, yeah. no fun villager. You see walkway there? If you want to go to Frontier Village, it's safe to go this way. Nopon never lies, so you can believe me. Okay, that's kind of sketchy, but uh, we'll, we'll walk up here. And uh, yeah, so they have built like this little bridge system, almost like like Ewoks or whatever, right? Where they live up in the trees. Uh, they, they build this little walkway, so you can avoid all of the monsters down below. Um, you know, and uh, just get to the get to the village but yeah so we're kind of approaching their village here uh, and then we have some really strong ones look at this guy he's massive look at him he's huge a lakelet mammoth huge guy down there all right village entrance so this is the large tree that we saw right in the middle of the forest. This is the entrance to Frontier Village. So this big tree is where the Nopon live. Ah, Bird Lady. Welcome back, Bird Lady. I wish to speak with the village chief. Will you permit us to enter? My pleasure, my pleasure. I shall take you to the village chief. Follow me. Frontier Village. Such a cool place. Frontier Village. Melia Antigua has returned. I request an audience with your chief. Chief, will you hear my request? Melia here. Bird Lady here. Uh, Melia back. Bird Lady back. Bird Lady? My dear Melia, it's good to see you again so soon. And you look so well. And what of your men? They are at one with the Bionis. They sacrificed their lives so that I might escape. But this is not my reason for coming. These Homs need your help. Will you be so kind as to listen to their request? What could a hum hum need of me? They require safe passage to Aerith Sea. I see no reason to deny them. And Melia, what of you? I have unfinished business in this region. Once these homs are safely on their way, I shall be on mine as well. That girl. Something's troubling her. We found her half dead and all alone. But I don't suppose she'll tell us the reason any time soon. Maybe we can help. I'll go and talk to her. Okay, so Amelia kind of leaves for a second. But yeah, here we are. We're in uh, 
in Frontier Village. This is where the Nopan live. And like I said, you can go all the way up. You can kind of look, look, we can look up. We can walk all along up there and visit with them and find out all these really cool things with them and talk to them. And they're really cute, right? They're like, ooh. And they keep on calling Melia the bird lady. Like, why are they keeping on calling her the bird lady? That's so weird. Um, so, and yeah, and she's just trying to, she's actually really nice. She's trying to help us, even though she's a little like, eh, towards us at first, but she, she's nice enough to help us. Okay. We've already almost finished that. Uh, let's look at the shop here. Manuals, manuals, manuals. Um, this is for a character that we haven't met yet. So, uh, I'm going to wait to buy that stuff. I didn't know they were going to have that. Um, Magna Cap. I definitely want two of these for these guys. Look at how expensive all this is. Oh boy. All right. I need four of these. Do you guys see like money is so important? I can't even buy four of these. I can buy three. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's um, let's let's equip the headgear that I just got. Uh, forest cap. That's not a forest cap. This is another soldier hat thing. Weird. Okay. Uh, skill tree Dunban. Oh, another train. Jesus Christ! This is the third one now. Increases chance of a double attack. That's really nice. You go Dunban. I'll look at li links next episode or something. Uh, no, I'm trying to sell stuff. Let's sell stuff. Um, I'm going to keep that. We can sell that. I'm going to sell everything. Yep. We're just going to sell. Just going to sell everything because, yeah, well, I need money. Yeah, okay, cool. I don't know why it needs to let me know that every time. Um, I could sell all of these crystals that we got, but again, I'm trying to kind of... I know, I should I should have probably done... Uh, the Collectopedia before I do all of this, but you know what? It doesn't matter. We'll get more items as we go. We need money really badly right now. So... Let's just get rid of all of this. So we have a lot of money now. Uh, yeah, we were looking at shirts, right? Um, four. I need four of these. I can buy. No, I don't need thirteen. Okay. Macna gloves. What about these great tree bracelets? I need two of these. Um. No, that's. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I'll buy one for him because minus one isn't that bad of a. Oh, that's what they have. That's what they all have. A lot of them. Uh, his physical defense only goes down by four, but it gives thirty-six ether defense, which is again, it's kind of important to have. So, uh, I want four of these. Wow. It's been a while since we've had a shop, guys. It's been a minute since we've had a shop. Okay, I don't need any shoes. Well, thank God, so we're done. Let's get some new outfits. I mean, it hasn't been... We had a shop in the beginning of this area, but they didn't have that much stuff that was, like, good. So, but... Look, we just have a... We're, we, we're going back to, like, a recolor of the... Original set. Yeah, look at that. It's a recolor of his original... Attire. Same here. It's blue. It's pretty. Uh, he still has that Gardas helm. That's weird. Uh, did we get... Gloss, Magna, Gloss. Who did I get those for? For him. But these are better. Why did I buy these? Because they have recovery up. That's why. Yeah. So that's why I bought those. Already having gems in there is just really nice. 
Uh, yeah, everyone's getting these. Oh boy. Carla is getting undressed once again. Cool sandals. Oh, we didn't get any shoes. Uh, all right, so let's go through and let's see what we what we have for um, ether defense and HP up and recovery up. Okay, yeah, that's fine. She has a bunch of recovery up. Ether up. It was good for the healer to have ether up. Uh, quick step maybe. Uh, poison deep it doesn't matter I'm just gonna like I said I'm probably gonna do some some uh, gem making or so, I guess is what you would call it between now and next episode uh and uh, top of resistance yeah, whatever all right cool so we look all funky I mean these shoes don't really fit the outfit but I like Dunban. Dunban really looks cool. He looks like the most normal. But yeah, so we're here in in the village. So it, it's really cool, right? So there's the chief. I don't know why he looks he looks different. He doesn't look as orange as he did before. I fell in the water. I didn't mean to. There's it's below us. So there's an area below us, as you guys can tell. But there's a quest on there for us. I was gonna talk to this. He looks different, doesn't he? Like his coloring looks different. But this is the chief. Melia went to the diving board? Okay, whatever that means. So we gotta... F but yeah, look at the little houses that they live in! This is very much reminiscent of the Minish. If anyone has played uh, 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 le uh, The Legend of Zelda, the Minish cap? It's very Minish-ish, minish the way this is. Alright, anyways, well, thank you guys so much. This is gonna be the end of the episode. So next episode, we're gonna find out more about Melia, what troubles her, mayhaps. Uh, maybe we can help her. And we're journeying to Aerith Sea, which is apparently above the uh, forest here. So uh, we're gonna be traveling there. And uh, yeah, and we'll probably find out more about some of the mysterious characters that we were introduced to. And maybe we'll finally... I, I want to find some um, manuals. <laughs> I'm like, I want more manuals for everyone, but uh, yeah, and like I said, I might, I might do, at this point, I might do, well, yeah, I might do some Colony 6 stuff in the next episode, uh, just to kind of have like a little break, and uh, do some stuff and level up a little bit, and then between this episode and the next episode, I'll probably do some gem crafting as well, so uh, probably, I I'm not going to make any promises, but that's kind of the plan I'm guessing for right now, but yeah, thank you guys so much, I'm Raleigh, I do stream over on Twitch every Sunday and Monday uh, evening, if you guys want to join me over there, and uh, I, I would really appreciate that, and if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I would also really, really appreciate that as well. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Xenoblade Chronicles. Thank you guys so much and see you then. Bye guys.